This is Jeremy Adokawise, and this is a tutorial on how to use our time tracking feature to track your time, create charges, and import those charges into your invoices. So this is the time tracker right here. And to start tracking time, you can click it or you can create a new time entry. I'm going to click it. And now my time is being tracked no matter where I go in my account. And even if I were to close my account and come back later, this is going to continue to track my time. When I'm finished working on the client's matter, I can turn off the timer. And here I'll provide all the relevant information for this particular work. This is the duration. It is by default set to hours, but I can change it. And it's smart enough to recognize whether this is two hours or two minutes just by including an H or an M there. I'm gonna say 25 minutes. And I'm gonna call this started the time tracking demo. And you can add a private note here that only your firm can see. Your clients won't be able to see it here. And assign a client. Let's do docket wise. And let's create a matter. I'm tracking demo. And here I can select the member of my firm that this should be assigned to. Um, and here I can list my hourly rate. And one cool thing is that once I list my hourly rate here, DockerWise is going to remember what it is so that the next time I create a time entry, it's going to automatically pre-populate that and I'm going to save my entry. Now, if I want to continue working on this matter again, I can click here and I can select this and it will automatically start exactly where I left off. I can also head over to view all of my time entries. I have a lot of filtering options here. I can edit the time entry And if I want to manually create a time entry, I can click new time entry. Now that's how to create time entries, but the important part is importing the time entries into your invoices so that you can charge your clients for your work. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to click create new and invoice. And I'm going to create an invoice for Docketwise. That's who I'm doing this demo for. And select time tracking demo, create invoice. Now this is our standard um, invoice interface. We haven't actually done anything in particular here. Um, I'm gonna end and save this time entry. Now, in order to import that time entry into the invoice, I'm going to head over to invoice charges. And if this matter has any time entries, I'm going to see a button that says import time entries. And I can choose to see just time entries that have not yet been invoiced, meaning they haven't yet been imported into an invoice or all time entries. I only have one time entry for this matter, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to select this and import time entries. And there I can see automatically the time entry has been imported into my invoice. And now I can go ahead and share the invoice with my client by email or by printing it out. 